before the satellite passes out of range? It will pass out of range in 15. Team leader, take position and bring the package to me intact. Copy? Copy. We have visual on transport. Package inside. Wait for file go. Team leader, you have a go. Petrovsky. 
You cost me a lot of money. A million US I paid to get you out of jail. It'll be worth it. Trust me. Oh, Littman. You keep saying this all the time. I'm starting to think that I made a bad choice hiring you. A very bad choice. And I don't tolerate you let this guy arrange your transportation out of Cairo. We now have the NSA breathing down our backs. Now, Litman, tell me some good news. The Iris is in a safe place, huh? The Iris is in a safe place. Mm. And I have a lead on the second piece. It's in Turkey. You want me to call my travel agent or what? My contacts in that region are solid, rest assured. Good. Because when it comes to excuses, you have reached your limits. You have only two days and a second more. Are totally out you were supposed to keep me informed, Liz. That was the deal. And if it wasn't for me, you'd have three body bags coming home right now. We lost Littman. Surprise, surprise. He didn't have the iris with him. He must have hidden it somewhere. Well, we've got to get the iris and the eye before he puts the two pieces together. Is that it? Octavius raided Egypt after Mark Anthony and Cleopatra died. He filled Rome's coffers with all the Egyptian golden artifacts that he could get his hands on. So you're telling me that the Eye of the Star is hidden in the Vatican catacombs? No, I'm telling you it would have been. Constantine moved the capital of the Roman Empire from Rome to Constantinople, and he moved the treasury with it. Everything went. The Eye, the treasure of Ugarit, it's all gone. All that from this? Why would they bother to leave a coin? Well, because the Romans were a little funky about death. They believed that by placing a coin in each of the eyes of the deceased, it would help them to ascend to heaven. Think of it as a fee for passage. So the eye is somewhere in Istanbul? I don't think the Romans even knew what they had. I mean, if they did, there would have been some sort of historical documents on the eye's power. I mean, something about it. We find a top antiquities dealer here in Turkey, someone who specializes in these types of relics. Living's gonna have the same idea, too, so we need to move quickly. I saw this in Akhenaten's tomb. I did a little research. The Egyptians believed that the eye was placed in a holy box. Let's see if we can find it. Corporal, scan this into our database and see if we have anything on record that matches. How's your shoulder? Oh, I live. I think we have something here. That's it. What information can you give me on it? This photograph is off a private auction book from the early 1970s. The piece was showcased by Antaki and Son Antiquities in Istanbul. It says here that it was sold to a private collector for $100,000. Well, we have a lead. Antaki and Sons. Find out everything you can about that dealer now. Ma'am, here's what I have so far on the owners. Ma'am, go, go back. What? Nothing. Well, well, well. What do we have here? And Taki's son and Nadia attended university together. And from the looks of it, they were a couple. No. It's one thing when an American asks questions, but it's another when it's an old flame. Get her here now. Not happening, Liz, do you hear me? We're gonna realize this is bigger than all of us. We just brought home American soldiers going after Littman. Just the latest casualties. What about Frederick? No. No. You know, don't think for a second that I, that we, 
won't make your life a living hell. My God, what has happened to you? Thank you. Jack, you must help me find these special glasses. Special glasses? Yes. Will you? To protect my eyes. I'll make it a priority. Oh, thank you, Jack. Thank you. We started this together, we need to finish it. Together? I'm here to stop a disaster from happening, so the sooner we get to Mr. Antalki's, the better, right? Right. So... Tariq! Of course I know they're onto us. We move quickly and efficiently, don't worry. Yes, we are tracking it down now. I'll keep you posted. Armin on Turkey. Let's go. You went to college with Dantaki's son, huh? Fuha. Yeah. Fuha. How'd you know that, Jack? Oh, I was checking that online. You know, the internet. Yeah, I've heard of the internet. Great picture of you two, by the way. You look very happy. Were you good friends? It ended badly, if you must know. No, I would. I really? Look, Jack, I can assure you, if they have any information that can help us, they'll tell me. Don't worry. He likes to worry. My dear Nadia, still as beautiful as ever. I'm sorry that Fuad couldn't be here to greet you. He's in Geneva on important business. He sends his regards. Please sit. Thank you. Well, it's a pleasure seeing you again. Thank you for meeting us on such short notice. Yes. We don't want to take up too much of your time. We're looking for a very specific piece, an artifact from the Constantine treasury. Perhaps you've seen it. Yes, this box. I know this piece. Really? Yes. The use of Christian symbols on Egyptian relic made the piece incredibly unique. Would you be able to tell us who you sold it to? It was long ago, young man. I wouldn't know where to find the records on the buyer. I would have to go through my files. Yes, I understand that your time and information is very valuable to you. I'm sure I could make it worth your while. Are you a buyer or a collector? Oh, I'm a buyer. Good, good. Because I've heard this name before, Jack Hunter. He was a treasure hunter, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm sure this is someone else. 
Who is your client? Mr. Confidential. Maybe you've heard that name too. That's not important. I'll do everything I can for my Nadia and her friend. This is my cell number. You can call me at any time. I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, thank Bye. you. Bye. Look through his files. He knows more than he's letting on, that's for sure. Yeah, but until he's ready to divulge his information, we have to play this game his way. Listen to me, I don't have time for games. Do you understand that? Oh, I'll go get the car. You asked me to come here because I have a history with this family. I'll speak to Fua. Just let me do this my way for once. Now, what do they really want with you? My wife could learn one thing or two from these people. Why don't we unpack and then we'll grab a bite to eat? No, 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 no more food. But last time when I got home, my wife gave me hell for gaining so much weight. I am done with eating food for good. Okay, okay. I'll catch up with you guys. Yeah, Liz. What did you find out? That Armin Antaki's a smart businessman. He's trying to see how deep our pockets go. I have a cheaper solution, though. Can you get into his hard drive? He's not on our grid, but whatever info he has is locked on his computer. He's talking to his son right now, so I'll keep you posted. Either get into his hard drive or get your checkbook out. Whatever it takes, Jack. Ahmed? 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 Good evening. What the hell is this? Get out of my house! Excuse me. I'm looking for a rare piece and it came to my ears that you're the man to talk to. What do you want? We're looking for a box from the reign of Constantine. Solid gold with Egyptian and Christian symbols on it. I don't think we understand each other. Don't! Now, do you understand? Yes, yes, I do. Please stop. What do you know, huh? I know this piece. I sold it decades ago. You can do better than that. Tell me. I can do better than that. Ah! Where's your computer? Put him down on his knees. <laughs> Please don't! Ivan Iskandrian. Ring any bells? Yes, I know where to find this man. Speak. 
61 uh, Taksim Boulevard. Who else carries this information? No one, no one, I swear. Let's keep it that way. Let's go. Water. Delicious. This is all I need. And I need more. Coming back. You're working for your government, aren't you? Aren't we all? Don't insult my intelligence, Jack. You know things, things that you just don't pull up on the internet. Look, I'm gonna stop Flipman no matter what it takes. And I'm gonna use every resource I have, okay? I know that you wanna stop Flipman, but have you even considered what kind of agenda your government might have? Don't lie to me, Jack. I'm not a liar. After all we've been through, I hope you know that in the end I'm gonna do the right thing. You have my word, Nadia. Your word is starting to mean very little to me. I want you to know something. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to protect that artifact and keep it out of the wrong hands. I'm thinking about walking back to the hotel. Uh, who would like to get some exercise, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Excuse me. Look. Yeah. We just picked up some police activities at Antaki's villa. Is there anything you want to tell me? Hey, it had nothing to do with us. We left hours ago. Well, something's going on. Litman. We also intercepted an email from Antaki to his son, Fuad. It was urging him to return to Istanbul to help broker a major deal. And we also found out that at um, Ivan Iskandrian acquired the piece in the 1970s. T tell me where to find him. He died three years ago, leaving a widow behind, and we have no contact information on her. Hang on, I have some information coming in. Oh, no. What? Ms. Nadia Ramadan? Yes. I'm here investigating Mr. Armin Antaki's murder. Your business card was left at the scene. May I see your passport, please? Of course. Please. I understand you uh, visited Mr. Antaki today. What was the purpose of your visit? We were tracking an artifact that he represented years ago. We gave him some information. He said he would help us out. Why? 
Where were you this evening around 5 p.m.? Can anyone validate your whereabouts? We were here, Inspector. I'm sure if you take a look at the hotel security camera, you'll see our story checks out. Yes, I'll be sure to check them out. But uh, that doesn't mean you are innocent. As of now, you are persons of interest. I'll be holding your passports and uh, we will be in touch. He took my passport. He took my passport. I'm very sorry about your father. It's, uh, hard to understand, really. The police are investigating, and so much doesn't make any sense. What were you doing in my father's house? Fuad, these are my colleagues. This is Jack Hunter and Dare Khalef. Very sorry for your loss. Thank you. Allah Thank you. The police were asking a lot of questions about all three of you. Fuad, I want you to understand something. None of us had anything to do with your father's murder. You must have been one of the last persons to see him. I talked to him after you left. He told me how beautiful you looked. And that you were seeking a unique artifact. A man named Ivan Eskandrian bought the artifact from your father years ago. He's now deceased. Is there any way we can locate his widow? No, uh, perhaps my father has it in his record somewhere. Could this be linked to my father's death? Excuse me, can you tell me... I... Uh. Deutsch. Sie sprechen Deutsch? Ja, wie kommen Sie drauf? Ich habe ein gutes Auge. Vielleicht können Sie mir helfen. Ich bin auf der Suche nach einem alten Freund von mir. Ivan Eskandrian. Er soll hier in der Gegend wohnen. Kennen Sie ihn? Eskandrian? Ich kann mich an ihn erinnern. Aber seine Familie ist schon vor langer Zeit weggezogen. Nach seinem Tod. Er ist tot? Ja, tut mir leid. Schönen Tag noch. Dad. That rotten old man, he played me. What now? We have to find out what happened to his widow and his estate. In the meantime, make sure someone is on Hunter. He's not let me down yet. Come on. Sorry, but we need to make this quick. We have every right to be here. This is my family home. It's a crime scene. Where's the computer? The police took it. But my father used to back up the hard drive. He held the disks here. I guess this is the last backup.
Do you remember it? Of course. We bought it together in Kashmir. It always held a special place in my heart. That's the only backup I can think of. It seems the police took everything else. There must be some other connection. Is there anyone else who would know how to contact this woman? Well, the Escadrians were very involved and in major donors at the same church that my father and I went to. Would the church have any information for us? Yeah. It's worth a shot. Let's take it, then. I'll drive. I can drive. Give me the keys. Listen to this. It's perfect music. I promise. What's wrong? We're being followed. No problem. They don't go anywhere. Well, it's either Lippmann or the police, right? Lippmann? Who's Lippmann? Um... Wherever they are, we can't lead them to where we're going. Does that mean you... Yep. Hold on. This would be a good time to tell me where we're going. San Antonio de Padua Cathedral on East Cloud Street. How about a left or a right? Turn right, right.
I'm a weak man. I can't diet, no. I am hungry, damn it! I can't take this anymore! <laughs> My name is Fuad Antaki. Would you please find Father George? Uh, I have an urgent matter to discuss. Thank you. Fuad! My son! Good to see you, Father. I'm so sorry to hear about your father. I have prayed for his soul since I heard the news. Are you okay? Yes, as anyone can be in a time like this. However, I'm in need of your help, Father. Of course. I'm trying to track down someone. Ivan Eskadrian's widow. It's very important. Yes, I can help you. After his death, Mr. Eskadrian left his entire estate to the church as a condition that we care for his wife until she passed. Do you know how we can reach her? She is spending the rest of her days at a church facility in Izmir. House of the Virgin Mary? Yes. You know it? Only as a child. But I can't seem to remember the directions would you mind sharing the address with us? Not at all. You have something to write? Yeah. Uh -huh. Excuse me, would you happen to know the driver of this vehicle? To claim on our Nipsine. What are you doing? No, what are you doing? But I've done nothing wrong. I'm innocent. I'm innocent, I swear. I will never see my wife again.
Don't worry. I will get you released. I promise. I'll see you soon. Well, he didn't waste any time getting himself Leave out. him be, Jack. His father was just murdered, and now this? What exactly are we being charged with? Why don't we start with reckless endangerment? Failure to obey an officer of the law and leaving the scene of an accident. So, is there anything you want to discuss with me? We were being chased. You saw it. Lock them up. Maybe by morning they will come to their senses. It would be unfortunate for this incident to be misunderstood by my embassy, Inspector. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't want them storming in here, making sure that you've covered all the angles before arresting an innocent American citizen. Yes. Let's see what the embassy thinks of another cocky American crying on their doorstep. Let him make one phone call. Well, that's very kind of you, Inspector. My pleasure. I should have stayed home. What were you thinking? I, listen, I can explain if, if you just... Can't you see that we're running out of time? We can't afford any more of your screw-ups. Just, why don't you just listen, I'm listen to me for... of listening to your reasons, Jack. Did I make a mistake keeping you involved? Did I? I'll do what I can, but in the meantime, get comfortable and keep a tight lid on everything. I don't need another country's officials clogging up my voicemail. Well, I guess we're staying here tonight. Well, there's a phone right outside. Let's see your magic. This is all your fault. Terry, please, you don't know what you're talking about. You're right, Jack. He doesn't know. But then again, neither do I. So please, enlighten us. Jack, I even know where you can start. Why don't you start with who's at the other end of all those phone calls that you've been getting? Who's controlling you, Jack? No one controls me. Right. That's right. Why do you go to such great lengths to please them then? She works with the NSA. Her name is Liz Johnson. Frederick's assistant. She was working with Frederick when he was killed. I left for Syria. When I got there, she told me she was working with the NSA and she needed my help. I, I agreed. It wasn't one of my prouder moments, believe me. Studying archaeology, fell in love. He's the only man I ever thought I'd spend the rest of my life with. Things changed. Changed how? He changed or you changed? We've been together for three years, and he finally invited me to Istanbul to meet his family. When I met Mr. Antaki, who's very welcoming. And when I left, went home, I got a call from Fua. It seemed he forgot to tell his father that I was Muslim. He threatened to cut him off if he didn't stop seeing me. And he agreed? Yeah, he didn't want to lose his family. I can't say I blame him. Well, I can. 
You know, when you called me and said that the Antaki family had handled the sale of the Eye of the Star, I was, I was excited because you had a lead and that you wanted my help. But I was, I was curious to find out what kind of man he'd become. It seems like a good one. One of the good ones. Ah, oh, good morning. We've been able to clarify matters and the three of you have been released. <laughs> we understand that the two of you were innocent bystanders to Mr. Hunter's actions. Please accept our apologies. Oh, no apologies necessary. Praise be to Allah. <laughs> Mr. Hunter, may I have a word with you, please? Look, here are your things. You run a cars behind the station and watch yourself. We haven't been able to track down Littman, and I can't make any promises that Inspector Fatih is going to come after you. Time's running out, Jack. Listen, no one wants this over more than I do. Trust me. We've got a lead on Escondrion's widow. Hopefully, she's going to be able to help us locate the artifact. All right, let's get out of here. She's more beautiful than I thought. What? Keep moving and stay in contact. They'll keep you posted once we smoke out living. I'll keep in contact. She's a lot different than I thought she'd be. I called Fuad and told him we were out. He said the comments about 90 kilometers south of here, so I told him we'd swing by and pick him up. Wow, well, uh, why, why bring him along? What do you mean? Well, I, I, you know, we can't afford Jack to slow Fuad down. Jack Fuad knows his country. He knows the people involved. And he wants to bring whoever's responsible for his father's death to justice. He's the biggest asset that we have, Jack. Any more objections? And I'm driving. This is it. Men are not allowed in a convent. Nadia, it's up to you to speak to the widow. Okay, I'll give it a try. Merhaba. Merhaba. How can I help you? I'm looking for Sister Escondrian. I'm a friend of the Antaki family. Please come in. You have to play with everything. The room is right this way, but she's very old, so you must be patient. Of course. Of course. Hello. Have you come to read to me? I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you were someone else. I have little sight left, but at least I have my music. Please sit. Thank you. Do you enjoy opera? Yes, very much.
especially this one. So beautiful, so sad. Butterfly's love for her husband is so great that even after three years apart, she still believes he'll come back to her. Aşkın gözü kördür. Love's eye is blind. One of opera's greatest lessons. Mrs. Iskandrian, do you remember Armand Antaki? Uh, yes, uh, he and my husband were great friends. Uh, did he send you to see me? His son Fuad is outside. He sends his regards. Yes, you're his wife. Nadia, is it? Nadia. Yes. I was hoping that you could help me. I'm looking for a very important artifact that I believe your husband donated to a church. I'm trying to locate it. Oh, yes. Very rare piece. Ancient Ugaritic, Egyptian, and Christian symbols. Yes, yes. It was one of my husband's favorite pieces. He donated to a monastery in Konya uh, many, many years ago. Thank you so much, Mrs. Iskantrian. You've helped me more than you know. Thank you. So, what did she say? Tell me you got something. I showed her the picture and she's seen it. She's actually seen the eye. It's in a monastery in Konya. It's near the volcanoes south of Konya, Karepnar. Volcanoes? I'm gonna text Liz the information and tell her where we're going. I am, um, I sent her your regards. She, uh, thought I was your wife. Did she know? Oh, Jack, look, I found the road that avoids the volcanoes completely. <laughs> So tell me, Jack, you know your history on Konya? Of course. You know, they found some artifacts that date back to 3000 BC. 7000 BC, actually. It was called Iconium by the Byzantines. Ah, those crazy Byzantines, huh? <laughs> Iconium was its Roman name, Jack. I'm really surprised you didn't know that. Perhaps you should get back to hitting the books. Hitting something. Oh, look, look. It looks like an accident. We should stop and help. I don't have time. We're gonna go around. Jack, a decent man would help. Not a decent man. What a coincidence. Nice to see you again, Jack. Surprised? A little bit. <laughs> We've been tracking you since your car got impounded. Where's your phone, Jack? Get in the car. You two, lady, move. Get in there. 
Go for a pleasure drive. That should keep the NSA busy for a while. Let's go! Five minutes later, I'll cut off his fingers. He'll talk. No. Bring him out here. Where are you taking him? Quite a show we've put on this time, don't you agree? I think it's our best work yet. We have the entire world dangling by a string right now, waiting to see who will cross the finish line first. You or me? The good guy or the bad guy? That's not how it works. You and I know the first rule of our world. There are no guys with white hats or black hats. We work for who pays the most. That's what you want, right? Why don't you give me your phone, Albert? I'll make a few phone calls. You're not the only one with rich friends, you know. Because that's all you're about, isn't it? Money. It's not all just about money, Jack! Don't you realize, if it hadn't been for me, you would have been dead long ago. I saved you time and time You saved again. me, huh? I spared you. an easy equation. All this time spent fighting each other when together we could be unstoppable. The star is just one relic. Imagine all the other priceless relics we could get together. You and me. Us. Like before. The adventure, Jack. That's what we live for, isn't it? The adventure. Put him back in with the others. You are done, Albert. Calm down, baby. Nothing. Bring out the girl. No. Wait a minute. Leave her alone. No, no. Please, she doesn't have anything to do with this, Albert. Leave her alone. Hey! Hey, stop! 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 You need to get your boss in here. Now! I'll tell him the location of the eye. What? No! But only if he makes a deal. You don't know who you're dealing with. I won't let you get hurt. Come on, honey. Please. What? Don't do this! Mr. Littman. What do you want? I'm a businessman. So are you. I know where to find I. Speak. If I take you there, you have to leave one of your men here. Once we reach the city, I'll call here to prove they're still alive. Then I'll tell you the exact location. 
Once you've taken possession of the eye, I want your word. I want your word, Mr. Littman. The four of us will be released unarmed. You want my word? Why should I believe you? Your father tricked me. His blood runs through your veins. Those three? They'd rather die than tell you. Me? I love that woman. I'd rather see her live. So take it or leave it. This way, Mr. Antaki. Help me up. Jack. Jack, Fuad made a deal. Libby's gonna kill him as soon as he gets his hands on the eye. The smell. Nadia, Nadia, are you okay? Yes, Fuad, listen to me. Stop what you're doing. Let me get. Did Jack check in with us? About three hours ago, ma'am. Pull up the GPS on a sat phone. Ankara? Corporal, is that reading correct? Yes, ma'am. It's up to the minute reading on his cell phone's location. Activate the transponder in his necklace. Ma'am? How can he be in two places at once?
Yes? How may I help you? My name is Fuad. Fuad Antaki. Mrs. Escadrian told me that your monastery houses a certain artifact that her husband bestowed to the church. Here's it's a picture, brother. Uh, yes, we do have this piece. Please, may we come in and take a look at it? It's very, very important to us. Uh, unfortunately, we don't allow visitors into the compound after evening prayers. Please come back tomorrow, okay? Monk, you do not understand. This is not a request, it's a demand. So get out of our way and no one will get hurt. After you. Split up, secure the place. If there are any certain moves, don't hesitate to wipe them out. Just take a Mr. Antaki, about the terms of our agreement. box and what was inside. Where is Fuad? He's in our sanctuary. Thank you. Listen, this is very important. Did you hear them say where they're going? No, nothing. Thank you. Fuad. Oh, so glad to see you for a second there. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Oh, it's a nasty cut, but it looks like you'll be fine. I am fine. Because you're right here. Hey. I have to tell you something. I know that things didn't work out as we planned. I'm so sorry for the way that my father acted. For you what? You're too late. You know that, right? Where'd Littman go with the eye? 
I've heard him on the phone call saying something about the volcanic fields. You still have your cell phone? Yeah. Liz, it's Jack. Where in the hell have you been? If it hadn't been for Frederick's necklace, we would have lost contact with you completely. Littman has the eye. I think he's on his way to hand it off to Petrovsky right now. We heard something about a volcanic field. Does that make any sense to you? Track all incoming air and ground traffic. In the volcanic region southwest of Konya. Prep dust, dust off in 15. We're coming there ourselves. I'll meet you there. Jack? We can't let Petrovsky get the star. He won't. We gotta get going. Oh, I was afraid you were going to say that. For what? They're tracking him on satellite right now. Then we can leave it up to your people, right? I'm not sure they're gonna get there in time. The three of us against those Russians. With machine guns? No. Four of us. Look, I should have listened to you. You did what you thought was right. Three of us, four of us, it's not gonna be enough. So, it's almost over. Looks that way. And, uh, are you going to make your move? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make sure Lippmann gets exactly what's coming to him. That's not what I'm speaking about. I thought that I had a thick skull. I think it's a little late for that. My dear friend, we have spent a lot of time together, yes? Some good, some not so good. And though I am not a smart man or a man of great pretense like you, but I am blessed with the ability to see people for who they really are and what they really seek. One thing I have learned is that when love beckons, you must heed its call. Her name is Nadia Ramadan. Nadia? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Nadia. Keeping yourself safe in your fear, your separateness, your righteousness, does not a great life make. Open your heart, my friend. He loves call, and in so doing, you will live a life worthy of you. Come on in. She needs me to find the treasure. She's not going anywhere without me. And I'm not going anywhere without you. Here he comes.
Hazrat. Da. What can you trust? Him? Only time will tell. Petrovsky. Litman. Nice to see you. We don't have much time. Impressive. Now show me what two pieces together can do. First things first. It's only half. Where's the rest of the money? Half now. Half after you have shown what this artifact can do. Just a precaution. Of course. A car. This man, what the hell is going on here? Stop it. Shoot them. but the iris is still down there. Secure the perimeter! Jack! Time to go! We're gonna have to last a little longer until the NSA can get here. Maybe if we can make it over by those rocks, we can hold them off just a little bit longer. Take the gun, what? Tariq, you take the eye. You run over there as fast as you can. Nadia, you'll be next, Fouad. You take up the rear. I'm gonna give you guys a distraction as long as I can. I don't want it. Listen to me. Take the eye. Run that way as fast as you can, okay? Remember that wonderful life you were telling me about? This is what it's all about. You're the hero. Okay. You ready? Okay. Go. Imagine how pleased I am to see you here. Where's Jack Hunter? Go to hell. Jack! No. Sorry, friend. I can't let her die. Hey! Litman! Hunter is the one you want! Take him! Give me the girl and let us go! Then I'll tell you where they hid the eye. Fuad Antaki. You are a traitor and a liar. 
Just like your father. You can have the girl. Pua, don't do this. I couldn't bear to see you get hurt again. Move! Grab him! What do you think? You've got the girl, where's the eye? It's over there, behind those rocks, with the other guy. Check it out! I finally get to meet the infamous Jack Hunter. You have been a thorn in my side for a very long time. Littman, allow me to accomplish what you never could. Jack.
about the eclipse? You can thank Tariq.
Here are your passports. Uh, I retrieved them from Inspector Sati. His only request is that the three of you leave the country as quickly as possible. <laughs> so you're all set to go. And how to go with the director? Let's just say I won't be on his list of favorite agents for a while. But no one has a star, and somehow it doesn't bother me. It shouldn't. Don't be a stranger, Jack. Where is she already? Well, actually, she'll be here in a few minutes, I'm sure. Ten years. It's a long time to be married. Yeah, and she told me that the next ten will be even longer unless I brought her here for a vacation. Greece for a week. 